It should be illegal to have to function this early. Tell me why it's always the one day that you actually have to like get up and be ready by a certain time that your kids decide to sleep in. Good morning, baby girl. <laughs> How'd you sleep? Uh -huh. Yeah, you want some breakfast? She was like, why do you have a camera? <laughs> it's too early to be vlogging, huh? <laughs> Every single morning, without fail, the twins come into my room and they wake me up the second that their alarm clock turns green. And we have this alarm clock, it's like the best invention ever, where you set it to a certain time and it shows a certain color and then I think it's yellow and they can't get up until the light turns green because we have a problem with them just waking up and thinking it's like go time at 5 a.m. And it usually isn't, so <laughs> we set the alarm to 7.30, so they are not allowed to wake up until 7.30, which is very reasonable, I think, even on weekends. It's now 7.45, and there's no sign of them. There's no sign of them. This never happens. Then one day they actually have to be up and dressed. There they are. Are you comfy? No. Yeah. Okay, are you cold? Yeah. Okay, I'll you. I'm not cold because I have my shirt on. Yeah. Do you guys sleep good? Yeah. Yeah. How did you sleep, Katie boy? <laughs> See, they already turned it off. Like, when you push the button, it'll turn it back yellow. So, I don't know if you can tell, but it's yellow back here. And when they're allowed to get up, it turns green, like this. So, they'll come over here and they'll check the light and it'll show them the color. And I'll tell them whether or not they're allowed to wake up. I thought this was so cool though. I just got it from Target. I think it was even on sale. I don't know. Good morning. Oh, you're such a sweet brother. Hi, <laughs> Already fighting. <laughs> Within seconds of waking up. Look at this, guys. This is how many like pills and supplements I have to take. Every morning. Oh, you guys are all being so nosy now. Can I you wanna see? Don't touch them. Don't touch them. Don't touch them. You want to smell them? They don't smell very good. <laughs> Every morning. No, I don't and I'm dropping them. Ah. Grumpy gills. Oh, it's so hard being too. I know. I know. Come here. Just give me a hug. Yeah. Okay, it's too early. I agree. It's too early to be up and out of the house. Such a hard life. Okay. And you had to put pants on. This isn't okay. Come on, this isn't okay. Normally we wear PJs to go drop Sissy off. And now we're just having a tough life, huh? All for pesky little brother or sister. Because we got to go see the baby doctor. School. You're ready for school. Okay, get in, baby girl. Have a great day at school. Love you. She's such a trooper shutting that big old thing. We are out of the house and we are on time. I think I just won today. Of course, I'm out of breath. I don't know how I'm ever going to possibly get like five kids up and dressed and ready to go to school <laughs> whenever they're all like school aged. We are, you don't want it, of course you don't. Let me see. Do you want it, Kaden? No. We are off to the midwife's house because I have my 38 week appointment today. Or is it 39 even? Because I'm 38 weeks and five days. So I'm it's like basically 39 weeks. And it's at her house this time. She's been coming to our house, which has been so helpful because then you don't have to like pack everybody up and take them over there. But this time it is at her house. So we are heading over there bright and early. I'm like hoping for some good news, but I don't know guys. I seriously feel like I'm gonna be pregnant. I'm gonna like pull a land in again this time. Like I feel like I'm gonna be pregnant to 41 weeks again. For the longest time, I felt like I was so ready and the baby was so low. I don't know, we'll see what the midwife has to say. I'm kind of just playing the waiting game now. It's to the point where we're like, we have everything. Everything is 110% ready, except the car seat. I guess maybe the baby's waiting for the car seat to be set up. Chris was gonna install 
the baby's car seat later today. We need to take this car to get it cleaned because it's a disaster after all of the Halloween activities. There's like still costumes literally up and down the aisles of this vehicle. <laughs> Maybe that's what the baby's waiting for. I don't know, I don't know. Oh no, we're gonna get into bad lighting again, no. I have no idea where we're planning on putting the baby. Or in the back. Yeah, we gotta look and we gotta find the best place. So yeah, I have no idea where we're going to install this car seat because, I don't know, I'll talk more about it later and when I can show you and explain. Basically we have several options but at the same time, I feel like we have no options. But, so anyway, we're gonna head off to the midwife's house now. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go see the baby doctor. Let's go see the baby doctor. Okay, so we just finished up at the midwife's house and we are heading out. Good news is baby is not completely posterior anymore. Thank goodness. So it looks like all the positions that I'm sitting in and stuff have been definitely paying off. But other than that, baby looks good. Mama looks good. And that's really all, not, not too much really happened. I'm measuring just fine. Everything looks perfect. So we're pretty much just playing the waiting game now. And my midwife and I both just kind of expect me to go over again. As it seems like my body really just likes to cook babies longer. It just likes to keep them in a little bit. So we're both crossing our fingers that it happens sooner rather than later, of course. So we're gonna head back home now. Daddy's home. <laughs> He likes the abuse. He likes abuse play. <laughs> Just another day. <laughs> doing there the twins are at school I was laying with Landon for a little bit and then I was trying to put him down for a nap and Chris got home from work a little bit early today so we're gonna skip nap time I guess and Lilia gets out of school a little early today because I have her parent-teacher conference this afternoon we'll probably go get the car cleaned after we get her mommy. Hi, mommy. <laughs> How was school today? Good. Yeah, what'd you learn? I learned to know how to do one science. One science? And you put a cup in water so fast and all the way to the ground, there's still air in it. Yeah? That's science. That's science. <laughs> yeah. Did you die? Yeah, I died. <laughs> show me, show me. <laughs> Play dead. I'm dead. <laughs> We're getting our car clean and I'm editing this video because I'm recording this video. Look at how dirty my screen is. I'm editing this video today, from today, for today. So it's going to be up a little later. Get the beast cleaned. It does not fit into a typical car wash thing like Prime Shine or I don't know what else, what other places people have around here. So you have to take it to like a bigger one. And then we almost thought that they were gonna have to hand wash it, but we barely got lucky. It like barely, doesn't it like barely fit in there? <laughs> you guys are so cute. <laughs> watch me whip, watch me I feel like this baby is literally sitting on my lap, but it's like sitting on my lap. Did you wash this? Yeah, we took it to the car wash. Look at that, you can actually see the floor. It doesn't look like a, an ocean full of crumbs. Buckle up, cowboys. Look at how swollen my finger is right now. I don't know if you can tell when I move. Look at that, look at the, look at the indents. Can you see it? Can you see it? Look at the indents on my finger. Yeah, I do like, like fist pumps. You gotta fist pumps. <laughs> gotta <laughs> exercise those swollen fingers. Swollen sausage fingers. I just got done with Lilia's parent-teacher conference and she's doing amazing. She's met all the standards for her grade level and she's doing just perfectly fantastic and she's, the teacher had to point out how she went like above and beyond to tell me how 
um, like respectful she is, and sorry, I have like her whole list here, how she's extremely respectful and she recognizes and respects authority, how overall like friendly she is. She's like, it's not very often that you get to the children who are just genuinely good people, and she's one of those people, so I made me feel really good. I love hearing good things about her, and she had not one bad thing to say except her penmanship she needs to work on. That's the only thing she needs to work on. Everything else is like perfect, so I love going to her parent-teacher conferences because I know for the most part with her, she's just such a well-behaved child and like she likes to follow the rules she likes to do everything like that so going to her like parent teacher conferences and talking to like like teachers and stuff like that really make me happy so this is the problem is that there's two tethers here and you you need a tether to front face the car seat so there's yeah she's got a booster but the thing is she gets in and out the most between school and all that stuff and I don't want her to have to get past the the um Oh, the the infant car seat. It's gonna be yeah. The handles, gonna, exactly. Don't I don't know. For some reason, I feel like the baby should be up front. What if it's like choking or something? I mean, like this is the one that we got. The one we finally decided on because it fits into the sit and stand that we're gonna be using the majority of the time. So we got this Baby Trend Easy Flex Lock. So it's an infant car seat with a base. So I'm gonna be taking it in and out and like picking it up and putting it way over there. Isn't that, oh, isn't very, right I was almost thinking that too. All right, the unboxing, let's see. We just got this gender neutral one. Do you feel like it's Christmas again? No. As a child? We just discovered, I don't think either of us really, I think we both like knew this, but we didn't realize it. Well, we just, we didn't really have a reason to. Yeah, we just, it just occurred to us that we can stagger these seats so we have this back here we're gonna move this one back here then we can put Lilia up front and she doesn't have to go in the back and there's still leg room in the back for people to join us in the back this literally just solved all of our problems so Landon's gonna stay here twins are gonna move here that seat's gonna be empty for the majority of the time Lilia baby Landon how many people does it take <laughs> to install the car seat correctly we're all sitting here all for you little munchkin now, if only you would grace us with your presence. Okay, I'm posting this video today. Car seat text. I know you're on here. Tell me, is this supposed to happen? I don't know. We're not understanding how this is safe. But maybe because the weight of the baby and the weight of the car seat. Put the car seat in now. I don't remember. It's been so long. I didn't really use an infant car seat with Landon even, so it's been like five years since I really used one of these. Why is it doing that? Somebody help answer. It's a good thing the baby's not here today. But I could post on that website too, the car seats for the littles. They they would know. But that doesn't seem right. And it's tightens all the way, like that can't go any tighter. Did you go to the doctors with mommy? Yeah. What? <laughs> Spiders. Did you see a spider? Mm-hmm. Where? What color was it? On the car. Oh, it was on the car? Mommy, it's in the car. It's is mommy the having a baby sister or brother? It's right up there in the bed. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's right I thought it was there. a sister. Mama. You told me it was a sister. <laughs> if anybody has any car seat questions ever, this is where you need to go. Go to Facebook. It's called Car Seats for the Littles and add yourself in. And they have like car seat texts and stuff on here. So I just posted my question in here. Cause we're dumb. Cause we're dumb apparently. We can't figure out how to install. We have how many kids? And we can't put an infant car seat in we correctly. Can. I feel like that's that's not a good sign. Ooh, contraction. Finally, finally a contraction. Watch this, my stomach will get all weird shaped. See it's getting all tight. So this is getting loose right here. And see look, it's all hard. It's what a contraction looks like, in case everybody's wondering. The harder contractions will make your stomach sh shape all weird. I feel like it's the angle hurry of up. our seats. Hey, hurry, hurry up, go get some super glue. <laughs> go, 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 we'll just super glue it to the seat. That'll solve all the problems, right? So apparently, this is how it works. It's supposed to be like I that. You only check for movement at the belt path. When we move it back and forth, it passes the inch test, because it can't move more than an inch. I think it's an inch side to side. So it looks like... So flip it. That's how it goes. So now, what we've decided, and I think this is probably gonna 
be the best for now is that we can sit Lilia here so she can sit next to the baby which she really wants and she can actually be very helpful with Landon sits here and she can still climb around to get out for school because that was my main concern is that I drop her off and pick her up without having to go under or over or Hi. taking the seat out and then we have Landon here because these seats are staggered I don't know if you can tell see they're staggered here and then we have the twins here and then we have that and then there's still leg room back here so this is awesome we need to move Lily a seat up here though so if only we can figure out that infant car seat which apparently I'm being told that this is not the best it's not the most well-known seat for or it's pretty well known for not fitting newborns very well so that might be a whole new issue that we have it's kind of a bummer but I guess we won't know until the baby's here. I need to end this vlog, even though the day's not quite over, but we're not doing anything the rest of the day. But I still need to edit and upload this video. And this is my, this is my setup for any time of day that I am in here. Can we have a baby tonight, please? <laughs> I'm sick of sitting like this. Like this is so uncomfortable, you have no idea. But this is the only way that I can get my kid to not give me a terrible labor. <laughs> This is how I'm gonna sit in labor the whole time. This is the only thing that's like halfway sound comfortable at all. So they can't do anything like this. Work it. Work There's a it. Cry. <laughs> Let me see. Look at how big my belly is. Beg for it. Oh my god. Beg, <laughs> beg for it. I'm not big. Come on. <laughs> okay, so that is it for today. That is it for today's video, guys. <laughs> Make sure you follow me on Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram, where, because hopefully I'll go into labor tonight. <gasps> it's not gonna happen, don't count on it. Maybe this weekend? I don't know. I wouldn't count on it either, but I just need to get this video edited and uploaded, so I'll talk to you guys on Monday for our next video. Bye! We set up the birthing pool this week to make sure that there was no holes in it or anything, so that was good to go, and we made sure that it fit in the room and all that stuff. I was telling you guys how I wanted her to check me, and I was pretty sure